All right, guys. So we were looking for a dark air. He's in the club. Here, and the club is closed. Uh, is there another entrance for it? There's nobody. Well, it's owned by someone, apparently. I want to ask you, mm -hmm. only drink wine, do you enjoy being an arrogant son? That's how we do. <laughs> you need anything, come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. You live in the Grey Quarter? I'm a dark elf and I live in Windhelm, so yes, I live <laughs> in the Grey Quarter. You must be new around here. Or you'd know they don't let my kind live anywhere outside that slum. Oh. Take care, friend. Take care. Oh, it's open. It's opening on the evening only, apparently. That's close enough. You're not supposed to be in here. What's apparently, some Nord women Maris? were murdered. Afraid not I'll sure why I should care. Precious bar stool. Okay. Oh, okay. How are the dark have treated in Windham? Well, you see where we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill, like they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I tried to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of His Mightiness <laughs> couldn't find the time. Okay. And why does the... what? There is so many dark elves here, then. Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind. So we came west. Windhelm was the first city on that road. And here we are. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. <laughs> to Riften. So there have been murders in Windham? That's what you said? None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. Okay. Niranye, I just have to know. Uh, what is your secret? My... my what now? Okay. You know. So we can Where take on train to room. I am always amazed at how you manage to sell things so cheaply. Uh, just a matter of finding the right suppliers. Well, this is the last time I'll see it. Them the next time Get they're out. around. Maybe you can give an Fine. I didn't want any of your I'll piss water it. anyway. Many of the people Come I on in. Here just stoke the fire. Secretive. Take a you seat and get the is. cold out. Of course. Hello, friend. I understand. So the person we need to talk with Please. is just, you just next put to us in a room, us. and I'll do all the talking. No worries at all. Are you the suspicious Dark F? Good evening. No? Mm-hmm. Are you the suspicious... Sneak that ring back to Viola before we both get caught. No? 
Please, leave me be. I don't want any trouble. Okay, so you're the suspicious dark hair girl. <laughs> Why you're so defensive? We haven't even met yet. I'm sorry. I just want to be left alone. I just wanted to talk. I know, but I don't know much about the city. I'm new here, like you. Okay. So you visit the Stone Quarter. Just the market. Of all pities me, the meat is fresh and never cooked. Oh, never cooked? Why? You vampire. Why do the we don't eat safe time to heat or cook me. Why do you even need to ask? They treat I can't afford to. Do mine. It, it has I think to be that's wrong. just their way. The Nords don't like anybody who's not a Nord. Uh, what about the all of the dead? I like the shrine, down. and I, Look around you. I don't, don't like you know sunsets. What their war is about? The sky flushes with color, and it, that it reminds me of me. things. Oh, I doubt that very much. Who would load their ships? As opposed to the catacomb, with all see. its hash and dust. I like it. I mean, I like knowing that we're all dust in the end. It comforts me. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are. It all whittles away. It's strange when certain creatures are made. I've heard their insides are turned to dust. Like corpses return to time. Don't you ever find it demeaning working for that but Nord family? their flesh. Look, Amber, it's ageless, I just came here for a drink. as if time I forgot them, trouble. and I don't Find know that. which part is unreal. I guess some are content if I told pets. you someone I knew what's going to was taken I'm by a vampire, that. And you're going to leave me would alone. that mean he was Deal. alive? Oh, 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 I don't know what to tell you. Vampires are made of ashes and flesh, yet... It's the fresh part that is unnatural. So... So that means he's dead. They're all dead. Even if they're alive. <laughs> How long have you lived in Wildham? Not long. I haven't found a place yet since... Since we left Morrowind. They have beds at Candlehearth Hall. But the people aren't very friendly. But Ambrys lets me stay at the corner club. There aren't any beds, but I... I don't sleep much anyway. You seem... Uh, you need to sleep. The fatigue is wearing on you. Or, uh, we? You, you say we, but you're alone. My family. They're... <coughs> they're gone. Uh, oh, what happened? I'm sorry. It's just... It hurts to talk about it. Many brave Dunmer were lost migrating to Skyrim. I'm sorry for your loss. What's new with that Nord Feldus family? wasn't brave. Have they given he you was stupid. Always rushing it. What do you Always. want from me? I I'm sorry. Okay? Well, not you don't they need to hear this. And I get the job done. That's it. Okay. Touchy. Maybe Who was Feldus? Either pour another he was my brother, movie. my fraternal twin, but the only thing we shared was her birthday. He was brash. He never listened. When we were children, he'd use illusion spells to steal sweets from the cupboard. <laughs> when the elders forbade destruction magic, he would rush me to the neighbor's yard and set fire to the chickens. The elders blamed me. I was the responsible one. They said I was supposed to stop him. That it was my fault. They... They were right. Okay, so it was your fault. But yeah, blaming yourself ain't gonna help, you know. <coughs> no. It's all my fault. I was supposed to look after him. <laughs> I was the mature one. Okay, what happened? 
Tell me what happened. We had just crossed the border to refugees rest. Father read the decree. Mother placed mountain flowers by the shallow grave markers. Only Feldus didn't care about graves and monuments. It was already an hour past midnight. He shouldn't have gone on ahead. He was so excited. We heard him calling through the darkness. He could see the lights from the dock. And if you squinted, you could almost see the outline of the palace. Okay. What happened next? Father chased after him. Mother and I, we followed. We passed Holly Frost Farm just as Felda started to cross the river. He hopped on a large ice floor by the bank. I thought he'd slip. Mother hollered at Feldus to be careful. He just stamped his feet. Then, it all happened so fast. The flow, it didn't crack. It didn't even make a sound. It just came straight through the ice like a ghost. What did? What came through the ice? What is that? What are you talking about? It was... It was a hand. When Feldus hit the floor, the ice broke. He... He fell in. And Father went in after. Mother was screaming. And I... I just froze. We were standing on the embankment when... More of them. They came right out of the snow. I felt a hand. It was cold. So cold. And I fainted. They say my blood turned hot as fire. But all I remember was the frigidness of that hand. What happened exactly? What are you talking about? I woke up inside the temple. Jorah was whispering a prayer. I felt so strange. So weak. Lortham said a Nord named Brunwolf saved me. When the guards did nothing. By himself. Looks tidy enough. Maybe only I was the only one he could save. The priest put a cold towel to my brow. And I looked up at the great statue of Talos. It almost felt like... Like he was sneering at me. He was telling me it was my fault. My burden. I'm... I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about this anymore. How can I help you? Okay, Madame Nalu. Okay, so there was a girl watching her house. That looks... She looks familiar. Why am she? She disappeared. It's not the cold of Skyrim that gets to me. It's the sting from the people. When I've made enough money, I'm going to return to Morrowind in high style. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what might you need? Hmm?
Okay, guys, this is charming Nickel Place. I'm not sure we are absolutely 100% welcome. Uh. Who are you? <clears throat> Good to see you. I don't know you. I look forward to our next meeting. Oh, that's her. So that was the dark, suspicious dark elf. We didn't understand half for what she was saying, but apparently there's no follow-up on that. I think she's a vampire. She was talking about some weird stuff. And her family died from kind of a monster or something. So we're cool for now. Beside uh, this ring, this guy wants us to sneak into a house and drop it somewhere in a dresser. We may just keep the ring. <laughs> Let's just make it simple. We keep the ring, right? Nobody will know. Yeah, we're gonna be in a camp somewhere. It happens that they catch it out gone, so So we're gonna put our tents there.
Okay guys, so we're gonna spend the night here and it's quite late. 12 a.m. You know, I am so tired of being mistaken for Ulfric Stormcloak. Thank <laughs> you. 